on your Apple TV. Welcome back. Well, relief from urinary incontinence could come from the sacral nerve stimulation. Well, how does that procedure work? I'm sure you're all wondering. Well, with us to answer that question this afternoon is Dr. Brian Stone from Jasper Urology Associates. Uh, good, good afternoon, doctor. We appreciate you being here with us this afternoon. Thank so, you. Can you explain what this, uh, I guess, the issue is first and then that procedure we just mentioned there in the lead-in? Okay. Uh, overactive bladder syndrome is associated with uh, urinary incontinence. And a lot of uh, ladies and men are, are kind of relegated to using uh, diapers. Uh, medications are often used, but they have bad side effects and they often don't work. Uh, Botox can be used, but it has its own potential to make it where you can't urinate at all. So sacral uh, nerve stimulation is a great uh, treatment uh, that allows you to get control where you don't wet yourself. And it also stops patients who may leak uh, feces at times. Uh, it's an amazing new technology. Now, are there any groups of people, any, any age group or, or a specific type of, of patient that would be uh, eligible for this procedure or is it, is it pretty much okay for everyone to have this procedure? Uh, we, we tend to see uh, overactive bladder syndrome more commonly in patients, say, postmenopausal. Uh, but there's some uh, individuals who have uh, spinal cord injury or certain types of neurological conditions where this may benefit. And you said this is a fairly new procedure. How new are we talking? Uh, it's been around for the past 10 years, but the old technology uh, w was a metal device that restricted a patient from uh, getting an MRI. But the new device now is uh, much smaller. It's a tiny little thing. Uh, you, you can uh, test a patient ahead of time, and they wear the test device for about three to five days to see if it works. And I tell you that when it, when it works, it's almost instantaneous. Uh, patients have gone from using 10 diapers a day to no diapers, being completely dry. And so just to kind of put things into perspective for viewers at home, is this similar, maybe not exact technology, but similar to the idea of maybe a pacemaker, perhaps? Yes. Yes, it is. It, it is. It, it's a device that targets the nerves to the bladder and it shuts off the, the uh, signals that are coming from the brain telling you to go too much. Mm. And it also uh, tightens the sphincter muscle around the anus. So for patients who uh, leak stool, uh, it, it can do that as well. And it, and it works amazingly well. So it sounds like, sounds like this device could help a, a large group of people and, and people who are dealing with, with uh, several different types of incontinence, as you just mentioned. And I'm sure people right. at home probably have so many more questions because you just barely kind of hit the nail on the head with what this, this, this device is. If people have more questions, more concerns, they just want to know more about this, how can they find out more information? Uh, the, the, they can reach us at the office, 205-384-3013. Uh, uh, and the current device I'm using is Axonics, A-X-O-N-I-C-S. Uh, they can go to the Axonics uh, website, and it has some great uh, uh, graphics of how the device works and uh, et cetera. All right, Dr. Stone, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon. And uh, if you heard that website, be sure to check it out if you uh, would like more information on this device. We appreciate you. All right. Thank you very much.